The easy-to-use Visonic Go mobile app connects to the PowerMaster security system at your home or business from anywhere, anytime. To start the app, click on this icon. If this is your first time logging in, please check with your local representative, your host server address and enter it here. Then click and read the terms of use and click Done to return to the login screen. Click the plus icon or add new button to add your first panel to the application. Fill in the preferred name field, then enter the panel ID and click Add Panel. Up to eight panels can be added and monitored through a single application. Once the panel is added to your panels list, click the panel you want to connect to. To connect to your PowerMaster panel, enter your user code, then click OK. If you get an error message, please try again. If you enter the wrong code three times, you'll be locked out for five minutes. You can now access, view, arm or disarm and change the alarm system status. The app has four active areas. Area 1 shows system status, partitions if your system supports more than one partition, and system activation. Area 2 is for alerts, alarms and problems. Area 3 shows latest activity. And in Area 4, there's a quick navigation menu. In Area 1, you can see the system status and select the partition you want to work with. You can also see if the system is armed, in home or away mode, or disarmed, as shown. Click away to arm the whole system. Click home to arm specific areas. Or click disarm to disarm the system. Area 1 will appear on every screen view, but you can hide it to create a bigger work area. A menu for additional setup options can be found here. Under the application setting, so you can change various app settings, such as language and your quick navigation view. Under the panel setting, so you can manage users, provide authorizations, assign key fobs, set panel date and time, set the Wi-Fi connectivity for supporting panels, and configure push notifications. To define an output interface to control connected devices, choose Output Setup from the main menu and click the plus button. This will allow you to configure a PGM output and later control it. To configure the PGM output, select the icon that best suits the functionality, then choose the parent device with the PGM output from the drop-down menu. This can be a PGM port on the panel or a remote PowerG device with output ports. Now select the specific port of the device, and if you want, add a description of the specific device. For security reasons, installers using a cloud server will not be able to access the system remotely. In case of maintenance needs, you can allow the installer remote access from the installer application. Area 2 shows any events that occurred while the system was armed. Click the icons to get more information. Click alerts to see recent events. To return to the main screen, click the main icon. Area 3 shows the latest activities, such as who disarmed the system and when. Check all earlier activities by clicking View All. Area 4 gives you fast access to the main functions. The main icon always returns you to the main menu. The alarms icon shows a list of alarms. A green check mark means there were no alarms. There is also an option to activate the panic alarm by going into Enable Sirens and sliding the bar to turn on the siren. The Devices icon shows all connected sensors and devices. It displays the device photo and name, zone, location, partitions the device belongs to, and measured temperature for supporting devices. You can bypass or unbypass a device by clicking the three dots on the far right. To filter the device list, click the filter symbol. This can be useful in large properties. The filter options include detectors, key fobs, sirens and repeaters. Display the complete list by clicking All. Click the Cameras icon for visual verification footage and images. You can see all the connected cameras and in each camera view, the location and partitions it's connected to. On the bottom of the image, you can also see the date and time of the last footage taken. Click on the device from which you want to view images. You can now see the latest footage taken by the selected camera you can choose to see video or still images taken by the camera by clicking on the picture or video icons. 
If images are selected, you can scroll between pictures by sliding the image left or right. To refresh the pictures and video, click the Refresh button. You can also share your footage here. As always, click Main to return to the main screen. Use the More icon to open events, alerts, troubles and output lists. Under Outputs, you can view and activate all outputs that were defined in the panel settings. You can sort the outputs according to location or device, activate each output by clicking the On-Off button, or activate the output for a limited time. To set the timer for the output, select the desired output. Set the activation timer and click Turn On. Once the timer expires, the output will turn off automatically. To learn more about the Visonic Go app, PowerMaster and other Visonic solutions, please visit www.visonic.com or contact your local representative.